Beautiful Stuttgart, Germany, the center of the animation universe. At least we here at Studio Film Builder like to think so. The studio was founded in 1989 and has been making innovative and impactful films for the last 30 years. We currently have nine, yes, nine different projects in various levels of production. Oh look, here's the creator of Patrick Pals, Angla Steffen. Hey Angla, she's going to give us an inside look at the new series. One animal we already had in the first season was the spider, for example, but the spider never had its own episode. So now finally spider has its own episode and I'm really excited about that one. I did have a time not having a door at home um, I had like a, a quilt a patchwork hanging down and it was exactly loud, like the Patrick Pals just it didn't have the animals in it. This is my profession you know the, like uh, 2D animation I really enjoy I could you know I could watch animation and I, I could enjoy seeing the movement and I could see if it's good or not and you know um, and I do think um, it's important that it's made nice um, because my children for example they won't watch an episode one time they're gonna watch it maybe 20 times <laughs> ah look here's Yelena Wolf creator of Lena's farm hi Yelena she's here to take us through her new projects now I'm working on Lena's farm Lena's Farm is a series for children between four and eight years old and is about the animals living on a farm whose owner is a wonderful young woman called Lena. The characters of the animals are very different, but despite that they have to learn to live together, facing funny and not so funny situations all the time. Lena also has her own backstory. She inherited the farm from her mother and tries to keep it running, but it's difficult for her because she's a vegetarian and won't sell her animals. Thomas came up with the idea of Lena's farm after I made a short film, Bedtime, back in 2015. And in this film, I decided to animate bed flying the way I see it in nature. And I was very lucky because it was fast to animate and it looks funny. So now we are in the very beginning of the pre-production of Lena's farm. Right now I'm working on the second animatic. And before that, I was making animatics for Patchwork Pals. There's a second project I'm working on with a studio film builder and is a one minute long short film. Damn it is a visual joke about the endless fight between good and evil. Uh, I have had the idea for a long time and now I finally making it real. And here's Thomas Meyer Hermann. Uh, where's Thomas? Oh, there you are. Thomas is here today to tell us a little bit about his new project, Deine Flecken. Deine Flecken, the German title. We don't know the English yet. Uh, Deine Flecken is our first feature film. And it is a feature for an adult audience. It's about a lion who falls in love with a cow. The script uh, is finished. It's by Daniel Nocke, um, an author, uh, film builder, 
continuously work with. Um, his special talent is to observe human behavior very well. And he finds a very subtle and funny way um, to present it. We already made uh, three shorts uh, with Daniel Nocke. Uh, and there we developed a method um, to um, make computer generated animals act exactly like human beings. With the feature project, um, we are pushing this approach one step further. Um, we use a mixture from animation and performance capture. It means we let real actors perform and transfer their body movement as well as their um, facial expressions and emotions to the animated characters. And now here's Andreas Hikade to present two films that he's been working on. So the project I'm about to finish right now is a project called Altötting. Altötting is a place in Bavaria where I grew up and there's a little chapel in the middle of that place where the Virgin Mary is performing miracles for 500 years now. And this film we're doing is about my fading love for the Virgin Mary. And it's a prequel to the film Ring of Fire that I've finished about 20 years ago. And I'm very happy to have a good team with me on that film. It's besides from all the people at Film Builder, it's the Russian animator Elena Valf, who really brings life to the Virgin Mary. And we're especially happy to work together with the queen of animation, Portuguese animator Regina Pessoa who will take care that the light of the Virgin Mary will shine. The second project that's just in preparation, I don't even know the title, it's an untitled project, but it is uh, a story about my grandpa, whom I never met and who's not been talked about in my family. But a couple of months ago, I did some research and Dr. Google told me about the crimes of my grandfather. So I started some research and it all goes back to a time about 80 years ago and to the area of Olomots in former Czechoslovakia that's been occupied by Nazi Germany. And at that incident, 19 innocent people have been killed. One of them is a, was a 16-year-old boy called Otto Wolf uh, that hid from the Nazis from 1942 to 1945. And some kind friend helped me to find that diary of Otto Wolf. And another kind institution helped me to find the protocol of my grandfather about that crime. And so I'm just collecting the necessary information. And I'm excited and really scared to do that project. Oh wait, Yulia. We want to hear about your new projects, too. The Anim Animals were developed out of five short films that I did for a different series from the SWR uh, called uh, I Know an Animal. In the new series, uh, we have, for example, we have um, um, 
a story about a tadpole who is uh, annoyed by having um, so many brothers and sisters, uh, like 300 of them, and who would prefer to be a single child. There's a story about a llama who is envious about the humps of the camels, and he wants to have one too, so he eats a lot, but all he gets is a big belly. But it's all good in the end, because his belly is much bigger than all of the humps. So the other project I'm working on is uh, has the working title Baby Blues. Uh, it's a short film about the difficulties and challenges of um, having a new baby. And it is told with uh, two parallel storylines. One has the perspective of the baby and one of the parents. And uh, the parents' story is told by uh, two new parents who have an astronaut baby. And the baby's uh, perspective is told uh, by a baby who is uh, stranded on a, a distant planet and who has to explore this new world. Behind the Mask is Gottfried Mentor, and he's got a special project to tell us about. My name is Gottfried Mentor. I am the director and writer of movies like Lambs, Head Up, or the movie All Sheep. Um, right now I'm working on a new project with the title Benstown. It's going to be a movie about a special relation between cars and buildings. And uh, the story is taking place here in Stuttgart. We are using a mix of different techniques like uh, live action footage, common 3D modeling and uh, photogrammetry. Photogrammetry is a great technique which allows you to rebuild reality in 3D out of many taken photographs. Uh, it's a quite challenging project with a lot of technical efforts, but I'm very confident that we will finish it and release it until the mid of next year, and you will be one of the first to see it here on Film the Channel. Well, that's it for now. We've got a lot of work to do. Auf Wiedersehen, and thanks for watching.